Hello, and welcome to day 30 of our Osteoporosis Awareness Challenge. Today we're gonna to talk about macronutrients and their impact on bone health. Macronutrients are the major nutrients that our bodies need to create energy, and they're also involved in everything that our bodies do. Macronutrients include proteins, carbohydrates, and fats that are essential for us to eat on a regular basis. Our bodies cannot make enough of them, and so we need to eat them in our diets. You've likely heard that foods with protein have essential amino acids that our bodies need. Likewise, fats also have essential fatty acids that our bodies need. Carbohydrates are a quick energy source for our bodies. But if we're low on carbohydrates, our bodies can use both proteins and fats to make necessary energy. When our bodies use proteins and fats for energy, it's less efficient and it takes more time than when it uses carbohydrates to convert to energy. In dietary terms, energy is often referred to as calories. Let's discuss carbohydrates and bone health. Carbohydrates are helpful for our bodies by providing readily available energy. They also become stored energy and the fiber in carbohydrates helps our digestion. You may have heard that carbohydrates have a negative impact on bone health. So let's go over what would make that true. First, what do you think of when you picture carbs? In my own mind, I picture fresh homemade white bread, homemade pizza, and homemade cinnamon rolls. These were all foods that I grew up eating and thinking were special, especially the homemade bread part. My grandma used to make homemade croissants for special family dinners, and man, were those good. You likely have your own list of delicious carbs that come to mind. The thing about all these various carbs is that they're made with white refined flour that has had the nutrients stripped out of them. And all that's left is a lot of sugar without the nutritional value. Sugar in general leads to increased inflammation in our bodies that can contribute to developing osteoporosis and having lower bone mineral density in general. But carbohydrates are a macronutrient that our bodies need. There are several things to keep in mind when looking at this. Our bodies need complex carbohydrates with lots of nutrients so that our bodies can make good use of them. Also, our bodies need the right amount of carbohydrates, making sure that we get enough without getting too much. According to a scientific article published in October of 2022, Short-term carbohydrate restriction appears to result in reduced bone formation markers at rest and during exercise with further exercise-related increases in a marker of bone resorption. Bone formation markers during exercise seem to be maintained. The amount of complex carbohydrates that you personally need every day depends on your height, your weight, your age, and your physical activity level. To make things easy, I'm including a link to a free carbohydrate calculator in the description of this video where you can put your information in and get out how much you personally need in the way of carbohydrates. It tells you how much you need to maintain, how much to lose weight, and how much to gain weight depending on your situation and your goals. Also, here's a list of foods that you can choose from to get your complex carbohydrates. Know that this is not a comprehensive list, but rather a good starting point. Whole grains such as whole wheat, barley, oats, quinoa, brown rice, and black rice. And if you haven't tried black rice, I encourage you to try it. It has a delicious nutty flavor, and it's lower on the glycemic index than brown rice is. Starchy vegetables such as potatoes, corn, and peas. And then fruits like bananas, mangoes, apples, and figs. Beans like black beans, lentils, and chickpeas are also a good source of carbohydrates. Let's talk about fats. If you're like me and you remember the 90s, you remember being told to avoid fat like the plague. With continued nutritional research, this was found to be inaccurate. Our bodies need a variety of healthy fats for every cell in our bodies to function properly. Fats make up part of our cell membranes that protect everything else inside our cells. 
We also need healthy fats to properly absorb fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin D. Healthy fats contribute to having a healthy brain and also to the formation of many of our hormones. On the bone health front, we need vitamin D to properly absorb calcium, making healthy fats something that our bodies need for bone health. Having healthy omega-3 fatty acids are also important for our brain health. Foods where you can find healthy fats include extra virgin olive oil, avocados, one of my personal favorites, fatty fish such as salmon, full, dairy pro- full fat dairy products like Greek yogurt and cheese. Proteins are a macronutrient that have a direct effect on our bone health. When we eat less protein, we have less muscle mass, which is not a good thing for our bones. As we age, we tend to naturally lose more and more muscle mass. And with the loss of muscle mass, we also lose bone mineral density. We need to have strong muscles that pull on our bones. This process is what keeps our bones healthy and stimulates new bone growth. We think of muscles as being made up of protein, but actually our bones are mostly made up of protein too. We need to make sure that we're getting all of the essential amino acids to give our bodies the building blocks that they need to build strong, healthy bones. Once we have the nutritional building blocks that we need, then we need to exercise in ways that will keep our muscles strong and pull on our bones. So the question is, how much protein do we need every day? The answer to this is again, individual adaptation. Take your ideal body weight in pounds and then divide this amount in half. This amount in half in grams is approximately how much protein you should be consuming daily. It's also best to consume protein throughout the day. Work to include some protein in your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner rather than loading up all at once. Our bodies are better able to absorb and use the protein when we consume it in this way. Some food sources to get protein include soy products like tofu, beans and legumes, nuts and seeds, seafood such as salmon, cod, and shrimp, and red meats like beef, lamb, and pork. Also, poultry including chicken and turkey. And then eggs and dairy products are all good sources of protein. So this brings us back to our osteoporosis awareness challenge. Today, I invite you to check out the carbohydrate calculator or to figure out how much protein you actually need daily. You get to choose which one you want to focus on. And on that note, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.